Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of the slope and the y-intercept, specifically how we can find those two points in graphs, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've been graphing ever since 5th grade, and we spent a lot of time in 7th grade looking at the slope-intercept form. So remember that slope-intercept form, form is y equals mx plus b. But what we need to do now is we need to just go ahead and find our slope and our y-intercept just off of a graph. Just visually, what can we find here? So let me see. Slope, y-intercept. Now I always, if I have the choice, I always like to find that y-intercept first simply because it's usually pretty easy. So here's our y-axis right here. So let's go ahead and label that. This is our x-axis. And the y-intercept is literally where does that line cross the y-axis. So if x equals 0, then our y is going to be, and we find it right here, it's right there at negative 1. So our y-intercept is negative 1 because we would use the coordinate pair 0, comma, negative 1. So if x is 0, what is y? And in this case, negative 1. Super easy. Slope takes a little bit of calculation here. So remember, our slope is going to be our change in y over change in x. Or you can visualize it as a y coordinate changing from one point to another, and then an x coordinate changing from one point to another. And some people like to just think of rise over run. Rise, that's your y coordinates going up and down. Run, that's your x coordinates going side to side. So we've got two points here, and, but they're not labeled. So let's go ahead and just put some x, y coordinates on here. So this one is going to be 4, negative 3. And this one is going to be negative 4. And the y is 1. All right. So we need to grab our two y-coordinates. And so let's just grab this 1 and negative 3. So the slope is going to be 1 minus, and this happens quite a bit when we're using all four quadrants. We'll get minus and negative. So go ahead and just write it like that. We'll deal with what happens in just a moment. And then our change in x. So we started over here. So let's get our negative 4. minus 4. Okay, so that's our second one right there. All right, so what we have here is we have 1 minus negative 3. So remember, two negatives make a positive. So really, it's 1 plus 3. And that is going to be negative 4 minus negative 4. It's going to be negative 8, right? Because if we think of our number line here, here's 0, Here's negative 4. Negative minus still goes to the left, right? So we're going to jump all the way over here to negative 8. It's like adding, but they're just negatives. So we really have 4 over negative 8. So that's negative 1 half. So our slope looks to be slightly going down from left to right, negative 1 half, or we could say negative 0 0.5. Now you might be thinking, what if you change the order of the y? What We did this as our first point right here. This is our second. What if we flip those real quick? Well, let's see what happens. Instead of 1 minus negative 3, what if we did negative 3 minus 1? And instead of uh, negative 4 minus 4, what if we did 4 minus negative 4? All right, well, what would happen there? Well, as you can see here, we're going to end up getting it all end up working over this way since I'm out of room. That's going to be negative 4. 4 minus negative 4, that's the same as 4 plus 4. Look at that. Negative 4 minus 8, that's still going to equal negative 1 half. So it doesn't really matter which order you take the y's and x's as long as you do the same thing. And there's our answer. Our slope is negative 0.5. Our y-intercept is negative 1.